Alright you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jaleesa and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a ninja top knot with a bun. Alright, so I'm starting off with semi-stretched hair. I'm going to be using the Bang and Bun by the Vivica Fox Hair Collection. And actually this is me taking it out of the packaging and there's actually three clips on the inside of the bun and then two wig clips at the top and it's actually all one piece I thought it was two separate pieces when I originally got it but it's all one piece and so here all I'm doing is placing it on my head to see where I would like the actual bang to hang and so you know I'm a little goofy so don't judge me but I was just making sure that I knew where I needed to put my ponytail all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take a water bottle and spray my hair because I don't like to work on dry hair whenever I'm styling my hair um, it leads to a lot of breakage and tangles and pain and I don't like it so I'm using a knockoff tangle teaser yes I said that a knockoff tangle teaser that I got from Walmart and I'm just gonna kind of like try to get out as much tangles as I can out of the ends of my hair I'm gonna go in with some eco styler gel and start slicking that baby down and so I'm mainly going to concentrate on my edges. Um, I'm not trying to really get a firm slick down with this style. Again, this style is meant to be quick and easy. That's why I made this video. So we're not trying to be like precise, but we are trying to get as slick as possible in as less time as possible. So I'm just going in with the brush, smoothing it out with my hands and we about to get a ponytail off in that thing all right so this is me putting a ponytail in and to be honest with you guys if you're going to be using this this ponytail is actually too far back and as you can see in this clip this is why um this looks hideous it looks like i have like a mullet on the first front of my head so what we're going to do is go in and I move the ponytail forward and basically you want it to sit directly on top of your head so I just took some edge control and kind of like put that on my edges just to kind of give it a little bit more hold I'm taking some wrap wrap, wrap strips um, that I got from my local beauty supply store and I take it and I wrap three along the back side to get that as smooth as possible and then I take one and wrap it across the top I usually do this just to make sure that I'm able to concentrate on certain areas for it to be as slick as possible so this is how this looks and I'm just gonna go ahead and sit out for a little minute now I did sit down with my head wrapped for about 45 minutes to an hour um, you can actually probably just at maximum maybe 20 minutes and you'll be good but I did sit down for quite some time and my hair is pretty much slicked down and perfect for this hairstyle so we can go ahead and move on to the next part so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the actual ninja bun and bun contraption thingy I don't know what to call it but anyway I'm gonna clip off the excess hairs because it does have a little bit of hair fraying at this point all right and then we're just gonna take the actual unit and take the clips and I flip them out to make it a little bit easier for me to attach it and then I'm just undoing the wig clips so that I can easily attach that as well so we're just gonna take that and put it on top of my little fuzz ball right here and take the clips and I'm just going to gently push those clips in and you just want to make sure they're not in a position where they're gonna hurt and like you're gonna to want to take it off later so just I just slid it underneath my hair and try to get it in there as much as possible without causing any pain or discomfort 
all right so then the next thing you want to do is just start to actually style it so i'm just about to take my comb and comb through of course after i clip in the wig clips but we're just going to go ahead and start trying to just make sure we have it positioned where we want it. If you have to put a couple of bobby pins in it, I highly suggest that. And then you just want to make sure that you style it the way that you want. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I have completed this look. I really like this look. Honestly, I think this is a good quick um like protective style that you could do um in total time frame i think that it would take me about 20 minutes to complete the style um depending on whether or not my hair was pre-stretched or not but i really really like this look um i was able to get it really slicked down so i'm really excited about that um as far as more information on this this right here was actually created it's called vivica's um bang and bun and it's actually made by a Kanekalon. um oh no it's a Kanekalon fiber oh so this is vivica a fox oh wait a minute y'all this was made by vivica fox i didn't even know this <laughs> oh my gosh this was made by vivica fox it's vivica a fox hair collection so i really really like this um <laughs> funny tip it was made in bangladesh but anyway I really really like this really cute quick style they also have some that has like natural curly hair that I actually want to try so that'll probably be my next thing but you guys can buy this at your local beauty supply store um, I believe I spent about ten dollars on this so it was a really quick hairstyle for under twelve dollars you know what I'm saying alright you guys so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button below thank you so much for watching this video join the family and become a beloved babe alright you guys peace